Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bar chart in Mathematica. So first thing, open Mathematica and then create new document. Now, inside the new notebook, we are going to create one list. Let's name it a list. And with that, we are going to simply add a few items. So let's say 500, 1500, then 800 then 4300 then let's say 6200 and close the list now we are going to go with shift enter and our list is now created now to create a simple bar chart we are going to make use of our bar chart function and we are going to add our list within double square brackets okay so when I hit shift enter, it should show me the basic bar chart from this list. And as you can see, from 500, then 1500, then 800, then 4300, and 6200. This is the most basic interactive bar chart you can have. You can also have multiple bar chart values within list. For that, you'll make list of list. So let's create new list named B list and double curly bracket. And then we have our data. Let's say 15, 30, 45, then 10. Close this and let's add one more block here. Let's add 32, 22, 11, one, one, then 41. Okay. Now we have two blocks. Next thing is we will close this list. Okay, so we can have that list. Now let's go with shift enter. Okay, now here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in bar chart. Okay, and within square bracket, I'm gonna add B list. Okay, then shift enter and you have your values. As you can see, uh, when you're going for the list of list for the data, then you will immediately see that change with colors. Okay, so you have 15, 30, and 45, then 10 for one. And then for second list, we will have again change of colors. Okay. Similarly, you can go with even more set of list. So let's go with C list equals to double curly bracket 45, 30, close this. Then we have 21, 60, close this. Then you have 52, 14, close this. And then 1184. Okay, then shift enter. Now the next thing is we will have bar chart and we will give it our new list of list. Shift enter and you will find that it accepts new data. Okay, then again total list. Okay, so you can see when you use single list it will retain one color when you use multiple lists it will change the color accordingly okay so what we have seen so far is how to create bar chart in mathematica